Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Brian Graham. Brian is the director of Volo Auto Museum. If you haven't been to Volo, you got to come out. Race cars, Hollywood cars, historical cars, fun place for the family, tractors, little bikes, everything. It's uh, Batmobiles. Uh, fun place, you got to come out. Volocars.com. Is that right? That's right. Volocars.com. Well, they also sell cars, and as I was walking by, Brian's the education for me, maybe for you, is what does Lou not know? Well, this is one I don't know, so I'm going to grab the camera. And uh, Brian, you asked me a question before. Yeah, I asked uh, Lou if uh, he had ever filmed a 1972 GTO convertible, and uh, he kind of scratched his head and say, said no. Well, the reason for that is they never made a 72 GTO convertible, ah. and a lot of people don't realize that. But in 1972, you could order a GTO on a hardtop, but not a convertible. So what a lot of people would do would order the Le Mans Sport and then get all the GTO options. So it would be essentially the same thing as a GTO, except it doesn't say GTO anywhere on the car. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Brian was right. I had to think for a second. Come on back with me, Brian. And uh, this is one of the cars that's for sale. Let me get far enough back so I can kind of take it all in. And it's spectacular. I mean, how many GTOs, or well, Le Mans Sports GTOs, how many of these were made, the convertibles? Well, there's very few, uh, you know, that were built like this. Uh, you know, when you'd buy a Le Mans, it would have the chrome bumpers on the front. It would have a 350 motor. So everything was an upgraded option. They got the Enduro front end. Uh, you know, like the GTO, this has the 400 motor, the honeycomb wheels. So uh, you know, not a, not a whole lot of them were ordered like this one. So this and this is completely restored. Yeah, it's a frame off restoration on this car. Matching engine and uh, trans everything. I just want to show you the front because usually you'd see a little GTO in there, and although you don't see it, it it's it looks like a GTO. So let's take a look at the back. We're gonna look at the interior and under the hood. Talk about a clean car. We're hearing some background noise only because we're in the museum area that has uh, some Hollywood cars, so we're hearing some of the films on those. Those honeycomb wheels have got to be a pain to clean. Yeah, it, we've got all the documentation on up, this please. car. The way you see it is the way it was born. This wasn't added afterwards. This is yeah, this, how it came. This car is immaculate. Look at the, the details here. Always enjoyed that turn metal look. Even if you look at the bezels around the, the clutch and the brake pedals, they're polished like chrome. I will do just that. It's a four speed car, and there's what Brian was sharing with us. That uh, that's a nice little cool touch. You're not going to miss the pedals there, and you don't see anything that says GTO or in the dash there. So let's take a look under the hood. We're not going to start it because we're indoors at his museum. We don't want to smoke out the patrons. Wow, that's clean. They put all the chalk markings like the factory did oh, on the yeah. firewall. Look at that. Look at the chalk markings. Functional ram air. Which is super cool. There. So you can see your ram air here on the hood. And you've got the, there's your all important little build sheet there. Right down to the, the hose clamps and the uh, you know battery clamps. Everything went factory when they did the restoration. Look at that. This is kind of the fun part of what we do, is just kind of a historical knowledge of what these cars are and were. And you've got your, keep your GM car sticker, your Pontiac Ram Air sticker. I'm just gonna go for it across here. Little details. With the 400 cubic inch for all of those who love the details markings all your markings here look at the back firewall that's great 
That's spectacular. Brian, let's shut the hood and let's have you stand right next to it. I get, uh, go ahead, come on on this side. Hey, Brian, thanks again. Thanks for bringing us out to Volo Auto Museum, showing us another great car. No problem, thanks for coming out.